I'm gonna let you men in on a little secret, ladies. Don't kill me for this, but women hate for a man to know his worth. I said, yeah, we don't like that shit. Nigga come around thinking he know his worth. Oh, he too good for this. He too good for that. A man that know his worth ain't gonna let us play with him. And I don't like that. I, me personally, I don't like that. Nigga, I need you to come around not knowing shit. I think a lot of women see serving a man at equates to them being powerless rather than understanding mm. that femininity and servitude is mm. a gentle power, mm. is a mm -hmm. nurturing power, is a fulfilling power. Mm. And mm. just like just as we say, um, oh, I, this plate or this food, this dish is made with love. And, and uh -huh. they say when it, when your food is made with love, it tastes mm. better. Hi, everybody. Good evening. We've got a little something to talk about. I've been seeing sprinkle, sprinkle, drizzle, drizzle, all of that stuff. But I wanted to come to you all from a different angle and to just, of course, get the ladies to start thinking about the future in terms of how, uh, you know, you're going to treat your man, your future husband, and uh, the work the type of work that you're going to need to put in in order to essentially prove and show that not only your wife material but that you want to be his wife and so you're essentially going to have to pay tribute and so i have a few things for, to show you to talk about and we are just going to get right into it ladies you have to cater to your man so you know i didn't listen to destiny's child coming up nor by the time i was able to basically pick the type of music that i wanted to listen to for myself i didn't listen to them but of course i know this song exists okay so i want to bring up the lyrics for cater to you by destiny's child just to again get your mind going ladies in terms of the servitude posture or mode uh, that i think is good to have when it comes to you having a man who you look up to who you desire and who you respect because any woman who has a man worth having she is going to show him how and what she loves about him through how she treats him and through the things that she does for him so as these lyrics display Cater to you, baby. Baby, I see you working hard. I want to let you know I'm proud. Let you know that I admire what you do. The more, if I need to assure you. Sorry, y'all. I don't know like the tone or the, the tempo of the song. So just excuse me. My life would be purposeless without you. Yeah. If I want it, yeah. Got it. When I ask you, you provide it. You inspire me to be better. You challenge me for the better sit back and let me pour out my love letter let me help you take your shoes off untie your shoe strings take off your cut links yeah what you want to eat boo yeah let me feed you let me rub your run your bath water whatever you desire i'll supply you sing you a song turn my game on i'll brush your hair Help you put your do-rag on. Want a feet rub? Yeah. Want a pedicure? Excuse me, want a manicure? Baby, I'm yours. I want to cater to you, boy. Let me cater to you, because baby, this is your day. Do anything for my man. Baby, you blow me away. I got your slippers, your dinner, your dessert, and so much more. Anything you want. Let me cater to you. Inspire me from the heart. Can't nothing tear us apart. All I want in a man. I put my life in your hands. I got your slippers. I got your dinner. Your desire and so much more. Anything you want, I want to cater to you. This is the woman who loves her man. This is the woman who cherishes her man, who desires her man. Who holds his heart in her hands and he has her heart. And she displays how much she admires him, cherishes him, respects him, nurtures him, and care for his peace. Ladies, if you're not willing to cater to your man, and if you're expecting for him to only cater to you, do you really love him? 
Or are you just seeking a sugar daddy? Are you just seeking a trick? Or are you seeking a man who actually cherishes you in return? A man who cares for your well-being? A man who's willing to put his life on the line for you and provide for you? And to give you his seed in order to yield a family from? Ladies, you have to understand that if you're simply seeking a man to provide you material things, you're not looking for a husband. You're not looking for a man who's actually worth your time, who's actually worth your effort. If you think you want a man who only caters to you, again, you're looking for a sugar daddy. You're looking for a trick. But, a, but those types of things, TikTok, TikTok, have a time limit and you being in that role only garnishes you a certain level of respect and it certainly won't be on the level of, of respect that a wife garners so ladies if you truly value yourself and what you bring to the table and who you are in your femininity then you are going to value yourself higher than a sugar baby. Please do not allow these sprinkle sprinkle content creators cause you to think that if a man is not tricking you off and if a man is not only and solely catering to you that he isn't worth your time. Ladies, relationships are reciprocal. Fine, if you want a man to only cater to you and to pay your bills, yada yada, why not just start walking the strip? Hmm. Why not just go ahead and make an OnlyFans? Why not go ahead and put an ad out on Craigslist for your little pretty kitty? Since you value yourself so low. Ladies, do not devalue yourself in that way. If you truly desire a family, come on up. Rise on up. Because there are too many content creators who are literally, to include Shira Seven, who are simply just creating many prostitutes, many prostitutes, while she in particular is sitting in her house that her black husband pays for. Ladies, be real. Let's be real. Let's be honest. And let's rise above the prostitute culture that so many of you have already invested yourselves into to include the content that encourages you and tells you that men ain't sugar honey iced tea you need to decenter men you need to not take men seriously and all black men are dusty and yada yada that type of content that you've been eating is only what is causing you to create unhealthy relationship after unhealthy relationship, which in return is degrading your self-esteem. No matter how much makeup you put, up, put on, no matter how stiff or how blonde or how red that your wig may be, no matter how long your nails are going to be, you're going to wake up and realize that you've lost yourself because you've buried yourself under content that is created out of self-hate. Self-hate for yourself, for themselves, self-hate for the community, self-hate for actual family. Yes, I want to cater to you. Parnell says, best song. Yes. Hey, B-Law, thank you so much for stopping by. Exactly. They be looking for a sugar daddy or simp, simp, simpy, simp. As the good sis uh, Danica says, a simp lolly poppy. Okay. That's what they're looking for. And we do not want simps. Feminine women do not want weak, effeminate, simp husbands. Simps don't make good fathers. Simps don't make good protectors. Like, simps don't get the juices from me. Let's be real. So let's not start with the mentality of you know, again, if he's not doing this, if he's not doing that, then he isn't enough. Or if he isn't allowing you to get away with certain type of behavior in the sense of using him, then he's not worth it. Or his uh, masculinity is toxic. That is a lie from the pit of hell.
Okay, like seriously, please stop it. We're breaking chains over here. We're breaking the chains of feminism, of any four, B4, four, A4, four, D, whatever movement. We're breaking the chains of hating the family, of hating the nuclear family. Because if you hate the nuclear family, that means you are a, a small part in writing the end of family, thus increased population. Don't be silly. Thanks for stopping by. Send my likes up through the roof, roof, roof. Hey, send my likes up through the roof, roof, roof. Send my likes up through the roof. Please hit the like button. So yeah, I, I showed the, the lyrics of Cater to You. And again, as we know, ladies, if you're not gonna cater to that man, do you actually care for that man? Like, come on, we talk about nurturing your man. We talk about, you know, giving him words of affirmation, caring for him, and just being there for him as a helpmate, as a form of support. And so in that way, you can cater to him by, as the song said, you know, taking his shoes off, giving him a, a massage, making sure he eats, singing to him. Let that song teach you something ladies no lord don't be dumb like this that's not a turn on at all please come come on rise on up out of your simpish ways man come on stop it stop being so darn gullible it doesn't matter how cute she is okay so let's keep on moving here so i briefly showed you guys or pulled up a clip from a panel that Mona and I were on, and we were basically talking about, um, you know, if the modern woman is ready to uh, be a wife, is ready to be married. But prior to that clip, there is a actual a post a, that I saw on Instagram that I wanted to show you all prior to because this is, of course, surrounded around the whole cater you know, to him conversation. But so here is, don't be a simp. Again, simps don't make the juices flow. Feminine women, women who want to be wives and mothers don't want to marry simps. Women don't take simps seriously. Stop catering to women. If, if she clearly shows that her energy and her liking you is not reciprocal, stop it. No, you're not going to grow on her. Stop being a simp, please. So the post says, I want to marry a man that, that loves to cater to me. So she's basically saying she wants to marry a simp. <laughs> like his sole purpose in life is to make my life easier. That's what I deserve. But ladies, mm-mm, mm-mm, absolutely not. If you are that man's world like the center of his universe that means he has no purpose he has no ambition he has no life there's nothing sexy about that you want a man who's even killed so that means if you're at the center of his universe that means his emotions ebb and flow along with yours turn off but then you're going to be trying to figure out how come he's not a leader or how come, you know, he's he's so emotional. It's because you're his purpose. You want a man with a plan, ladies. You want a man with goals and ambition that he's going to execute with or without you. That's a man worth following. That's a producer. That's a man who's going to be successful. Isn't it sexy when a man has goals and plans that he pursues outside of what you all have going on in your relationship? How immature she doesn't want a man. So to that, this is what I said. For me. You put your kids in it. I'm like, girl, I'm like, girl. Mm. You need to put that damn man first now. <laughs> the kids, the kids is going to put good. that baby down, pick that man up. Exactly. Okay. The, kids, the kids is, is going to be good. Take care of that man because that man is taking care of 
the man is the roof. He the foundation. Ooh. He taking care of him. Everybody gonna be taking care of. One hundred percent. And the funny thing is, if they actually put the man first, if there's a scenario where the kids need to be put first, he'll 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 take a seat back and say, "No, get them ready. Get yeah. them going. Mm-hmm. It's not a problem." But y'all doing things out of order earlier mm-hmm. on. Mm-hmm. Come on now. I think a lot of women see serving a man at equates to them being powerless rather than understanding mm. that femininity Relaxing. and servitude is mm. a gentle power mm. is a mm-hmm. nurturing power is a fulfilling power mm. and mm. just like just as we say um oh I, this plate or this food this dish is made with love and and mm-hmm. they say when it, when your food is made with love it tastes mm. better but, <laughs> The environment you bring in your servitude makes the atmosphere sweeter. Just yeah, as right. for the, you know, the Christian folk, you want to be a sweet aroma mm. in the nostrils mm-hmm. in the nostrils mm. of God. Mm. How can how can you be that sweet aroma through you being a, through you being willing to serve in your heart, and then it translating through your action? Mm. But you see, a lot of women they're not willing to serve in their heart first. Mm. Ladies, I dropped a lot of gems in this clip. We're going to keep going. But wanting to serve starts from within. Wanting to serve is not selfish, but it's selfless. If you find yourself consuming content that encourages you to be selfish within relationships, That is not an ingredient that's conducive to a healthy, lasting relationship. I urge you to pay attention to what you eat. Because what you are eating, the content that you are consuming, will cause you to change the perspective and the lens that you view your world from. And so with every man, if you're con- if you're constantly consuming content that says men are only to be used for their money, for their resources only, and you are to be emo- and you are to be emotionally detached to the relationship, that is what you are going to see men as. And then you're going to wonder why you cannot keep a relationship or why you keep attracting men who only want to use you. You're never going to be satisfied. Because of what the selfishness, because of what the pride, because of me, me, me. That's why I call them entitled princesses because princesses expect to be catered to without having to put out or give herself and in being a wife and as uh mrs she said said in our in a wife's job description it says woman servant women woman servant but it isn't but again it it is powerless it's just a title just as he's my man servant he paid a bill or he's my bodyguard he's my rock Mm -hmm. he's my this you are to be that as well and so as i've said on on my channel ladies um be and just as he's your rock, be his net. But they're not mm. willing to be, be his net. Mm-hmm. He's your rock in the sense of you recharging on him, as Auntie Take He said, mm. as in him being able to bring your attitude way down because he he helps you know neutralize all, mm-hmm. all everything you got going on. But just as he's that mm. to you, be his net. Be be there um, to and be willing to catch him when he falls, when he needs yeah. a shoulder lay on mm-hmm. and um uh, mrs she said says something said a particular word that stuck out to me which was vulnerability mm-hmm. can he be vulnerable with you without mm-hmm. you turning on him when you're upset in an argument because mm-hmm. there's a complaint mm-hmm. that men have to say you know when don't open up to a woman because she's going to spew out all of your business or she's going to therapize you. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, oh, you probably acting like that because you ain't had no daddy or because, or because. Mm-hmm. Ladies, can you be his emotional 
safety net? Can he trust you with pillow talk? Can he trust that you're not going to regurgitate the secrets and things that you two have discussed in secret, in your private time to the public, whether it be on social media or in front of family and friends? That is a part of nurturing him. That is a part of catering to your man. This is what wives do. Wise women build their house. If you're spewing and constantly gossiping about your husband's secrets, you're chipping away at the foundation of what is supposed to be a healthy relationship. A wise woman builds her house with confidence. Confidence as in being able to keep secrets, keep private se conversations private, and with being able to discern what is appropriate to say and what not to say. A wise woman builds her house with words of affirmation. A wise woman builds her house, her house, excuse me, with the nurturing of the belly and the soul. A wise woman builds her house by praying. But what does all of these things require, ladies? Selflessness. Are you a wise woman or a cantankerous woman? Are you a wise woman or are you as low as a pig? Are you a wise woman or are you a Jezebel? You make the decision. <laughs> rather than being, rather than being a friend. Yeah. Th these women can't even be good friends to their men, let alone be a wife. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and that's why mm -hmm. I think again, it, it comes Our down to again, time. the pride, mm. yep. the ego. Mm -hmm. And honestly, it's it's satanic. It's demonic because mm -hmm. Lucifer said, I can be this. I can be that. What is mm -hmm. that pride? And all these, they said, well, I need to be served. I, I. What about we? My will. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. It is time to separate yourselves from the women who are out to use men. From the women who are, you know, sugar babies, prosties, selfish manipulators. It is time to separate yourselves. So if you notice you have friends who are looking to use and abuse men for their resources, the bad company, can corrupt to good manner. Cut her off. You do not have time to be connected to anything dead because if you are alive and thriving and if you're connected to something that is dead, eventually it's going to delete you as well. Stop playing around with your future, ladies. We are living in a time where more toxicity and movement is running quicker and rampant throughout the world. We got new feminism movement after new feminine feminism movement. Decentering men, 4B, along with all this type of dark femininity content that women in masses have been consuming. Separate yourselves. Stop listening to that content cut off those types of friends and even family members, you do not have time to play. And men who are worth having are not going to play with you either. They're not about to play th those types of games. Also, break out of your heightened sense of selfishness, entitlement, and pride. You have to fight the urge, ladies, to be selfish. You have to fight it within here. You have to reject it within here and with he within here. It's not going to happen overnight and sometimes it's not going to be easy. But this is where being connected to the most high is most important to help you purge those undesirable characteristics that you do in fact have. Be real with yourself. Be honest with yourself. How can you expect to self-improve if you're if you're not willing 
to be to let go of the negative attributes that are not conducive to a healthy lasting relationship don't you want to be a better woman being a better woman does not equal being more selfish and more prideful and more combative a masculine man desires a feminine woman being selfish and being prideful and being combative only hardens you thus only making you a masculine a masculine woman which is going to repel a masculine man and attract a feminine man and attract a simp and attract a man who only wants to sit on your couch eat your baby snacks play the uh playstation and scratch his belly and the dude can't keep it up sometimes it's you girl Sometimes it's you. I'm just saying. As mentioned, stop using men and appreciate them for their nature. And understand that in relationship, ladies, the both of you mutually benefit from each other. You use him and he uses you. He provides things to you. You provide things to him. I use my husband and he uses me, but we're a team. Each player on the team, they're useful and important, but again, they're useful to each other. They benefit to one another. As they say, there was no I in team. If you want to want to be selfish and only think about yourself, then fine, but don't go seeking a relationship. As mentioned earlier, a masculine man is not going to let you run game on him. Please understand that. A masculine productive man who is worth having is not going to let you run game on him or any other person for that matter. But let me just pull this video back up to remind you what this young lady said. Let two men in on a little secret, ladies. Don't kill me for this, but women hate for a man to know his worth. I said it, yeah. We don't like that shit. Nigga come around thinking he know his worth. Oh, he too good for this. He too good for that. A man that know his worth ain't gonna let us play with him. And I don't like that. I, me personally, I don't like that. Nigga, I need you to come around not knowing shit. Let's play two men in on a little secret, ladies. Don't kill me for this, but women hate for a man to know his worth. I said it, yeah. We don't like that shit. Nigga come around thinking he know his worth. Oh, he too good for this. He too good for that. A man that know his worth ain't gonna let us play with him. And I don't like that. I, me personally, I don't like that. Nigga, I need you to come around not knowing shit. Only a certain type of woman doesn't like when a man knows his worth. Why? Because he's going to set standards for his life. He's going to set expectation for the woman who he's going to be with. And some of you women realize that you cannot be held up to that standard because you don't fit the bill. Some of you ladies realize that you cannot rise to the occasion to truly be the type of woman that the type of man that you want or think you want, wants. So instead of rising to the occasion, you try to, to degrade the standards and expectation of a man of value. How silly is that? You want a man to lower his value to reach your subpar level? No, baby, rise up. You want better options overall in the dating pool? Then actually do the work to increase your value. Don't be silly. But again, a masculine man is not going to let you run game on him. And he's not going to, going to allow anyone else to run game on you. And what do I mean by that? If someone tries to scam you, or disrespect you a truly masculine man is going to be able to see right through it and he's going to be able to correct it in some capacity like if he sees a scammer 
trying to scam you, he'll be like, okay, steer clear, because that's a scammer. And then, of course, it's your choice to listen or not. Or if someone tries to disrespect you in some form of, or fashion, and I'm not talking about in a dangerous way, but, you know, it could just be a, something simple like, I don't know, cutting you in the line, right? If he finds that it's necessary to stand up for you or to say something, then he will. A masculine man is not going to let the ones he loved get ran over, especially not his woman. But you have to uh, you have to learn to appreciate what a masculine man comes with. As I say over here all the time, and we're creatures of habit. That's why I say the same things so I can try to get it ingrained within your minds, ladies. You're not going to like everything that the masculine man says and the order and structure that he comes with, but it is what it is because we need it. You may not like it in the moment, but you will learn to appreciate it. That's why it's important for you to understand a man's nature now. So when you get and come across a masculine man, you'll be, be able to identify him. Okay. Moving on. Lead with your femininity. Your patience, being willing to learn, being open to learning, being self-aware, being intuitive, and even, again, tapping into your spirituality. Ladies, especially for those of you who, who believe in Christ, I encourage you to take a look at the Proverbs 31 woman. I encourage you to take a look at Esther. And I also encourage you to, to take a look at the stories with Delilah and Jezebel in them. Pick out the characteristics and traits that each of these women have and compare them. And I encourage you to compare those lists to the type of content that you consume. Okay, so this person's content matches up here. This person's content will go under that category. And that will tell you whether or not the type of content that you're consuming is leading you down the path of wifedom or loneliness. Yes, check out the story of Hannah as well. Yes, wifedom or destruction, righteousness or hellfire. I'm serious, ladies. It's time to stop playing. But again, that's all I got. The truth has been signed, sealed, and delivered by yours truly. If you like the content you see, then please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads or when I go live. And if you know of any women who you think would benefit from this information, who wants a higher sense of femininity, then please share. And until next time... I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Oh, I can feel that from where I am. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. I'm not engaging in this conversation with you anymore. Thank you. The door.